Kasanda district has gold deposits, but investors say the mining sector in the area is not developed. Mining is a very expensive venture. It is capital intensive and very few people want to invest money, especially Ugandans. Ugandans have a tendency to want to do business that will bring profits ne next month. But mining... The disorganization has resulted into confrontation with law enforcement agencies, but that might be history in the coming years if Cassandra Gold City Dream is finally achieved. Today, it is amazing to see how we has developed. It is, of course, a small and you know disorganized, uh, you know, normal uh, Ugandan town. But the gold city phenomenon is incredible. In doing the planning for this gold city, we have been informed by what happens in, in Tanzania. Uh, recently, we visited Kahama. It's a gold city, and uh, Tanzania has taken this artisan or small-scale mining to a new level. The Gold City is one of the proactive strategies that could make working conditions for artisanal miners safer and to ensure that the sector contributes to Uganda's economic development. One of our roles is to sensitize communities in the country in order to stop illegal mining, in order to mine when they are uh, in groups, in an organized manner, which will help the government to trace the minerals. Someone has tackled on traceability of minerals, to trace the minerals. Uganda is not famed for its gold reserves. However, gold production was reported at 1.8 million kilograms in December 2017. According to Uganda Gold Production, Gold worth $514 million was shipped out of Uganda in 2018, over 50 times what the country was exporting a decade ago. Penina Nahuera, UBC News.